Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode one of It's Amigas Uncensored. So, guys, Woo! as you know, as we told you guys for many months, we've been dying to start a podcast, and here we are. Finally. If there's one thing about us, we can definitely chat. So, we felt like this was like the best thing aside from YouTube, because we're going to continue YouTube, of course. Mm-hmm. But aside from YouTube, we felt like this was the best thing for us to do a freaking podcast. I'm excited to finally start. Guys, we had to take one and it was a disaster. It was a real big disaster. Between memory cards and it was just like a lot. So we are doing episode one all over again. And we get, this is new to us. So yeah, we're a little nervous because even though we're always in front of the camera, this is just a little bit different. Now you guys are literally just listening to what we have to say. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, everything is weird at first, though. When we first started YouTube for the first time, it was... That was weird. That was so freaking weird. Like, we were so camera shy. And we're not camera shy at all. We just... I feel like with us right now, I think we just want to flow everything correctly. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes it can get a little silent. And we just got to tackle that part to just flow, to go from topic to topic. And just, you know, but... You guys know that nothing is right with me because if it's not a little sloppy, so just bear with us. Yeah, that's just who we are, um, and that's it. That's just who we are. We're never neat. We're just everything's very organic, and we just learn everything on our own. We literally yeah. are, are self learners, so yeah, just bear with us. So we want to talk about a few things. One, starting with what we're going to be really presenting on this podcast. And pretty much what we're going to be doing is pretty much everything. I say pretty much a lot, so sorry. And just to start, my name is Abby. Oh, and I'm Leo. See? Wow. See, see what I'm saying? We're so disorganized. We didn't even introduce ourselves. Very. Um, but pretty much we're going to just be talking about everything. Life, relationships, um, what's going on in the media? Music. To- yeah, everything. News, pretty much everything. We're just gonna chat, and I hope prices. You're gonna hear from us. How oh my god, how things are just expensive. How to freaking coupon because Lord knows we love we love some good deals. So mm-hmm. we're gonna be sharing the tips on how we get good deals. We're not professional or experts, so don't don't yeah, stop people. I just got this five dollar coupon for Alta Beauty and I was so excited like as you get five dollars um couponing is so exciting as you get older just saving money is everything literally I remember being so embarrassed to scan a coupon or to show a coupon or to so people could but now like I'm loud like miss miss I have a coupon and it's not working like I have no problem doing that I love when they honor it and it's like uh, it's already uh, past due, but um, today I actually went to CVS and I bought the three waters and whatever I bought. None, it's none of y'all business, but it was like twenty bucks. I put you know the little phone number in and went down to thirteen dollars. Like I was like, yes, wow, that's like such an amazing feeling. Yeah, I actually had a uh, experience like that today too. I was buying something for a party for a party that I'm doing. And if you use the coupon code welcome 10, this is for people that are like that haven't gotten their email list. You know what I'm saying? So that's for like the newcomers. But obviously yeah. I've shopped here a million and one times. But I'm like, let me just try it because you just never know. And it what? Oh, I was freaking soup. I got, Talking? I got like five dollars off. Wow. You have lip gloss? Yes, I do. Oh, I need some. Um, Talking about coupons, though. If you've been to H and M lately, and you know the little hack where they'd be Ooh. like the new member ten percent off, Ooh. they like kind of low key took it off. They, they like kind of like, just say like sign up, like sign in. Now it doesn't really say like scan to sign up. Really, I was just in New York and they had it. They had I it. I think it's in the Providence place because I think they're catching up that a lot of people are just you know, every single time, guys. Let me give you a little scoop on the H and M new member thing you get 10 percent off you literally can make any email make up any email it doesn't even matter you don't even have to have the actual email and sign up and you get 10 percent off and act like you have to be like every time i go to the register i'm like they're like are you a member um no how, how do i sign up 
And they show me, but I've done the process like more yeah, than ten times. Yeah, the other day she did it, and I'm like, <laughs> and I was about to blow up her spot. So I was about to be like, "No, kid, you did it mad times already. You you always forget." But then I was just trying to catch on. She really seemed like shockingly surprised that this deal existed. So I was like, Ooh, "Period, gotcha, sis, gotcha." Period. You gotta act. You know, you gotta act like it's new. You haven't seen it before. That's how you get the coupons. Yep. And then, and that's you know, there's like discounts. a million and one workers in each and so none of them matter. No, but right. But there was Honestly, one time, though, some girl complimented me, and I went the next day, I think, and I'm like, damn, I can't even use it. But, she like, I hate those out. employees that really care, because it's like, this is not your store. Like, like who you get cares? You get it in an hourly pay, sis. Just, I would hook it the fuck up. Like, who cares? Uh, back who in the day, cares? though, when we worked at Party City, so we used to work Ooh. at Party City Ooh. a long time ago. They gotta come for us. I ain't saying what I did. And, <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It was yeah, bad. We both worked at Party City. That's was crazy. We don't, we're not going to say because we don't want to go to jail, but but we're not going to go to jail. One thing we did do, they got no, like, we didn't do nothing. Right. One thing we did do in Party City that I will fully admit is that we like to squish the candies to ask her outside. Yeah. I know you guys do that, too. When you see something like a little, like, chocolate ball mm-hmm. that has candy like outside. Truffle. You guys don't like to smash it because I do. I get, I get such a, like, great satisfaction from that. Yeah, weird. I definitely like to smash it. That's so that's weird. Really a thing. But I think we should get into the topic that we're going to talk about today. Um, Let's start with our turn-ons and turn-offs. Turn-on and turn-offs. Ooh. So I would say, let's say, let's say like three personality, three physical of each. How does okay. that sound? So you want to go first because you know I'm a slow thinker. Um, and I said I was going to write it down and of course I did it. So... So let so me tr- one, let me let's start with t- tip for t- t- So one turn on and then one turn on and then like that. Okay, uh, turn on for me. Ooh, it's someone that is <sighs> very attentive. Ooh, I period. like that. That's period. very. I like that. That's very attracting to me. I like mm-hmm. when you're attentive and you're, you know, you're worried about what is the little things. You know, you're worried about what i'm doing and you're just into my daily schedule you know what i mean and i like that that's a real big turn on to me that's definitely one um so following what you said i like random food which i got random food today and that was amazing like random food like just outside of your house like right. that's so amazing you just say you're hungry and then i don't know ring ring you got food downstairs that's fire that's amazing and then and then like the correct food too not even like some wax i mean everything is appreciated food right. is food but it's even a cherry on top and it's like one of your favorite freaking meals like that's fire yeah i think that's amazing that's a turn on for me too mm-hmm. Just like Little I'm not like I don't even care about giving getting me the most luxurious things. Food is good enough. What I need is good enough for me. Just surprising me randomly. Mm-hmm. I think that's so sweet. That's definitely a turn. I got a lot of turn on and turn off, so I don't even know if I could keep it at three. So what about a turn off? A turn off. Loud. <laughs> Loud, obnoxious, yeah. always want to be the center of t- of attention is a very mm-hmm. big turn off for me because I am a very quiet person. Um and you could probably say I balance the loud people out, but no, I just don't like to be around very loud, obnoxious people. I like my partner to be, you know, just like me, period. Mm-hmm. You can't even read through us. There's nothing like a like a like a calm, cool, observing person. Yeah. That's I love cool. that. A turn off for me is insecurity. I think insecurity is the perfect word. In a relationship, insecurity is annoying. I know shit happens, but just not to go into too much details, insecurity and like disturbance of peace is annoying. <laughs> no, that is. That's, That's very annoying. annoying. Um, but I mean, not saying not saying that it just can't ever happen ever because obviously no relationship is perfect, but. I just hate, I don't want to word this the wrong way. I just hate, like, when people are too observant to the point where you just feel like you're on eggshells. Right. Like, you don't even, like, the the wrong is still, the, the right feels wrong because you don't know how somebody's might take it. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's definitely a turn off for me. Like, walking yeah. on eggshells because of insecurity or just because of, you know, shit in general. 
Um, did I say a turn off? Yeah, I already said a turn off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you said loud. Um, so a good one. Let's say a physical, a good physical one. A physical one. Good hygiene is very important to me. Period. Because everybody knows, not everybody knows, but bad breath is like, <laughs> it's horrible. Like, you can be so freaking fine, but if your breath is stank, goodbye. Mm-mm, not doing it. So good hygiene is very important to me. Because um, I'm always making sure that I am taking care of myself. Let's see. What is the turn on or turn off? Where are we on? Um, turn on physically. Turn on physically. A haircut and good jeans. So random. Yeah, haircut is very important too. Just like you know, you. Want I know, your like you know, look good. It's okay to look a little scruffy sometimes because obviously you're not gonna be getting a haircut every two days. But like OD and an OD excessive of scruffy is like right. Hell no, like no outfit you you can wear. There's no outfit you can wear that's gonna just look good if your haircut isn't on point. Yes. And then same thing with jeans. There's no sneakers and shirt that's gonna look fire if your jeans is just bad. <laughs> like you imagine, uh. like you imagine a fire shirt. Let's say just any shirt it doesn't have to be anything in particular. Any nice graphic shirt, vintage shirt, whatever. Some fire sneakers, cool like banging ones or something. Mm-hmm. Just some special edition sneakers, I'd say. And then the jeans is like they have like a silver. T- <laughs> Or and like, they got or the like stock tie dye. And like they got the stock X, oh, yeah. X tag. Yeah, no. How about that? The stock X tag. If you didn't know, this is a special. This is a announcement. special announcement. I gotta hold the mic for this. This is a special announcement. Announcement. We will be walking around with scissors to cut off all stock X tags for all of our fellow yeah, friends. Man. Some people just don't know. That's what. That's what it is. Some people don't know. But it's like we if know. If you didn't know, now you know. We know these shoes are exclusive. We know and they're where not even exclusive. else to get them. You know, even, we can't get them retail half of these price. Are not even you gotta go to though. you gotta go to Stock X, which Stock X is fishy now. But you know, it is what it is. Like, I just go. think that in, in general, because half of these sneakers are not even they're they're not even um exclusive. Half of these Jordans are about to come out again in five years. Yep. I promise you. I promise you, everybody's gonna look at you even better if you cut the tag off, partner. Literally. Partner. Um. Yes. <laughs> but, um, what's a turn off physically? Well, no, you already said a turn yeah, off. Yeah. So your turn. So my turn off for me, like I said, is bad hygiene. Um. Also, wrinkly clothes. That is just like e. You know, I'm not going to lie. My shirt was a little bit wrinkly today, but, like, I tee. Like, if you're, if you're wearing a really wrinkly outfit out and you don't care, like, I don't know. Maybe that's my issue, but it's just, like, ew. It just feels like you just grabbed it from the hamper of your either either clean or dirty clothes. You know? Like, that's what it looks like. Just Our iron costs $10. For real. Just 10 I like my... I'll buy somebody an iron, truthfully. I have Me no problem too. buying somebody an iron. If they if have they really a really hard one. time. You know, if somebody needs something, you know, I'm willing to help. So that was a turn off. So turn another turn off for me. See, this is, I get stuck. I know I have a bunch. I have so many. If I, I can go, so honestly, many. I'm just going to go down my list of, like, what I love. I love what turns me on is someone who is, um, like, if you're in a relationship or you guys are just, like, getting there. I like I like being valued to the highest power. That is a big turn on to me. Um, oh, you know what's a turn off? I got one. A turn off is um, somebody that's not being consistent with stuff, stuff they started. Right. That's a big, yeah, big like, yes. Like, if you start off buying flowers, continue to buy flowers. Or you certain gifts. It's just like, why are you not? Of course, things happen. Just whatever. don't do but it. Like, My thing is just like, don't do it. You know, don't do it in the beginning and then just be like all right we good now i already got what i wanted i don't gotta do none of that no more right see that's not gonna work out for the new relationships the newer comers oh and guys also we want to mention that this is just all of our own opinions this is nothing like if you don't agree it's okay this is just us this is us talking and venting about our our um likes and dislikes so 
If you do like no it, if you don't, though, who cares? Everybody likes what they like. Right. Um, you can but yeah, so I like somebody, I like, I like people who value me to the highest power. Like I like to be valued, um, because I feel some type of security with that. And when a woman feels secured, they are submissive to their man. And that's the truth. Um, what else? Um, I like, I'm short, but you know, here we go. All men. No, forget it. Let me not mention it because I don't want to offend anybody. Hmm. But, you know, I like uh, 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 somebody who works out. Very important to me. That's a turn on. Um, oh, my God. Somebody that, you know, it's a turn off when somebody chews crazy and burps my loud. And leaves stuff on the side of their mouth. Oh, my God. Wipe your mouth. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's mad ill. That's like, really and nasty. And when, when dirty fingernails... Yeah. Mechanic hands. No. So, all right. So, let me give you a scenario. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you're about to go on a first date with someone. Mm -hmm. They have the good jeans. The good jeans. They have the good (laughs) jeans. They have the great fit. He's great conversation. Nice smile. But the way they eat, (laughs) you're eating. And they have sauce (laughs) on the side of their mouth. I think I'm going to look down on my phone. I'm going to try my hardest not to get turned (laughs) off. Like. I'm going to look down on my phone or I'm going to be like, go to the bathroom or I may just ask him to wipe it. Would you tell that person something? I think I might. I, I think, think I, would. I would too. I think I'll just be like, oh, look, you got something right there. Like, in, in hand be like, and whoa. So, sometimes, you- no, sometimes you truthfully can't feel it. I mean, I feel like for the most part, I can feel it. But like, it's like, for example, when you're eating something with pepper, <laughs> like when you're eating something with pepper, for example, like. Sometimes the pepper is in between your teeth and you have no idea. Or when you're eating like a Mediterranean pizza and you're and you have um spinach, sometimes that's in that's in between your teeth too and you don't know. So it would be nice for somebody to tell me that I got a pepper in between my teeth. I would appreciate it. But what about happen first date, but then have a second date? Oh no, you're just <laughs> sloppy. Cause it's like, it's well, like, you continue, but like, this is just one small thing about this person. Like, are you gonna like, <laughs> are you gonna com- like, are you gonna compromise, or are you just gonna not continue because of the way that they eat? But there's everything else is just so. If perfect. everything else is so perfect, then we're gonna try to just correct that area. <laughs> <laughs> that's it but what if like it can't get corrected this is just the way that they eat you know like man what if, but i'm trying really guys like i'm trying person, you hear me you know? trying i'm really trying everything here. is amazing they like treat you like a princess but the well, way that they eat what would you do if that was the scenario whoa if it's like absolutely can't be stopped or controlled like and you tried and you try to help a brother out and it just don't happen what would you do because be- literally on dinner i will try less dinner dates <laughs> Less dinner days to be like, I just can't. You just eat crazy. Yeah. And honestly, it makes my stomach swirl. <laughs> because honestly. Yeah, because that, that literally will take away my appetite. Yeah, no. Like, but there's really people that eat like that. They really don't. They just and that chew crazy. Oh, and that take like they take these massive bites and these sandwiches, and then the 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 um, mayo is on the side chilling there, and then they be devouring the sandwich so bad that they don't want to clean their mouth until they finish. But it's like, yo, you got to clean your mouth. Uh, it happens, I understand, but like clean it. Clean it right there on the side, a little napkin. Like I can't eat without napkins. If I don't have napkins, me either. I'm not eating. Like me I have either. to find something. Paper toilet, something. I wonder do you I'm so paper on it. Like I'm so work? on it. When I eat, like I make sure I wipe my mouth every time I eat. Yeah. Because I am just that is just a big That's big why we need so much freaking me. napkins all the freaking time. Like there's nothing gross than like you're eating, right? And then you see sauce right here. You just get like this like weird yeah, tingly man. feeling. I feel like, like we're like, thinking about this one person. <laughs> you one just get the friends, really like. And it's just like. Whoa. whoa whip your brother. mouth. Whip yeah. your mouth. How about like, how about though, if they're not sloppy eaters, like, ha- like let's say they're eating wings or something, uh, a slider. They're not sloppy eaters. They're eating like cautiously, but they still have sauce on the side of their mouth. And they're not wiping until the very end. And they say, hold on. And they say, oh, nah, I'm not wiping until the end. <gasps> Ooh, you got to just sit there. Yeah, I'm just looking down and eating, enjoying my This meal. is the first date? Let's say second or third. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah. Um, I really hope 
that that per I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like that's fixable. I feel like a person's not going to continue and continue and continue over and over and over. Right, to eat sloppy. On. Like, I feel like that's fixable. I wouldn't just throw some throw the towel on somebody because of that. Sure. I know. Facts. But okay, How about, wait, 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 wait. How about the same scenario? They're clean. Everything is clean about them. They eat well. But they give you the, oh, I forgot my wallet card. Or the... Or the the bill's about to come and they walk to the bathroom. And you already know that's like a sign. Like, it's not good to assume, but come on. Let's be real. What would you do in that scenario? Ooh, I'm just going to pay for the bill, honestly. Oh, 100%. Because they might have really... If they don't cash app you, then they wanted you to pay for the meal. I think that's so But like th- let's say if they really did her, let's thing. say if they really did forget their wallet but they cash app you then that's different. Yeah. There's cash app now there's no excuse. You can sell it baby. Sell it. Venmo. What? There's ways. There's no excuses my love. Apple Pay. Wait. I feel like but that's like damn how do you on a first date bro I think that's the first thing you're going to secure that wallet. But like what if they pay but it says declined? <laughs> it's like it's like Yo, that shit really, ha- that shit really be happening. Like, sometimes the bank just be doing us dirty and they just lock our shit, especially when you're out of state or something. They, the bank loves to just lock your shit. And obviously it's for security purposes. But you know how embarrassing that is? Where Was that with you where I went somewhere and... Oh, yeah, I was with you, right? Oh, no, I was with my sister. We went to Texas Roadhouse once and I gave my card, which had, it had money in it, of course. I'm not going to be paying if the card has no money. It said decline. And I'm like, whatever. I know there's money there, so I don't even care. So I give her my credit card. She said, oh, this said declined, too. So I'm like, what the heck? All right, I give her my other credit card. She said, oh, this is declining, too. I'm like, oh, no, yeah, you got to figure out something with your system. It's your system. She goes, no, it's been working all day. And then my sister gives her hers, gives her her card, decline. I'm like, oh, no, this is something. Like, you really going to make us go through all this embarrassment of decline, 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 when the whole time it was your fr- freaking system. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, I God. gave her... Like, four cards in total. My sister gave her one. She ended up going to another register, and it worked. And I ended up using the card I didn't want to use. I was yeah. pissed. That's crazy. That has never I happened off to topic, before. But yeah. That has never happened. I think one time when it I was, like, in college. Me, you know, you're in college. You're poor. And I was at Dollar Tree. I was on break. <laughs> I went to Dollar Tree. This is Dollar Tree, people. This is my humble t- I'm very humble still, but... You know, that was my most humble time. Um, Literally went to freaking Dollar Tree on my break. I was so hungry. I knew I couldn't afford to go get a whole meal. So I just wanted to go get little snacks. Mm -hmm. Total of probably like five bucks. I gave him my card. I said the client. Wow, five. Five dollars, guys. This is how poor I was in high school. I mean, in college. You, you know the go, struggle. But you gotta go like this, right at the top, like this. And I'm looking through my bag, knowing I don't got no money in there, because <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed. And at the time, I didn't have a credit card. Um, Yo, no, I think I maxed my shit out actually. You know, <laughs> like in I college, in college, is where people you start just getting like do dumb so shit. And um, the lady, she ended up giving it to me for free, and I was so embarrassed. Oh my but God, like, she did. She felt old yeah, she you. felt so bad. Good times, good times. I know everybody. Share, share down below your your experience in college. Most embarrassing like, college experience yeah. financially, not financially. like not like you just got embarrassed. A struggle. Friends, like, yeah, one of the struggle or all or, or a struggle meal. Literally, I didn't go to college, so I don't have I don't have any college stories. But I've heard plenty from friends. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say, so I can live yes. through your moment since I didn't get to do Exciting. it. Exciting, like crazy times. Oh my god, we're like so off topic. Like, what I know, I know. About? We were talking about what what was the what oh, would yeah. it be if that was to happen to you? If homeboy's card was declined, hold on, I have to get off this. And thing. if my this boy went to the bathroom, what would you do? For me or for you? For you. Like, if you're in the day and he went to the bathroom, like... I'm 100% paying. I'm going to just pay. Would you sit there and wait till he comes back? Yeah, I'm going to sit there and wait because he has to know <laughs> that I paid. <laughs> oh, he's a, oh, he's going to know. He's going to definitely know that I paid. I'm like, oh, no, it's it's good. No worries. It's no problem. And then, like, this is a, this is a test. This is where I have to stay because in all reality, 
he could have been testing you to see what you're about, to see if you're a choppy, to see if you're going to even, you know, grab the tab or if you're just going out with him for, for him to automatically pay for you, if you just expect that, because that's, that's annoying too. You shouldn't expect. It's obviously common courtesy for the ma- man to pay for the girl, but it's, you shouldn't expect If it's the first it. date and they're asking you to go out, then yes, you are. Is that your chair? Yes, bro. I'm, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm on the verge of falling. Hold um, on, guys. You can continue, Leo. Hold on. No, I'll just wait. Look at this, though. Oh, shit. The struggle that I'm going through. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Just wait. You're not going to need it. Hell yeah, yeah, I am. Shit. Wow. But, um, what were we saying? Yeah. Um, if, if you're, you were saying if it was a first date. Yeah, if it's a freaking first date and you're asking me to go out, like... First of all, guys, don't expect that on your on the first date it's gonna hit you're gonna hit it off. First of all, we gotta know what you're about. You're yeah. asking me to go out. You wanted this, right? I'm saying yes. What it okay, like I gotta get to know you just because you're paying for food, which I can pay for is nothing. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm great. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of it's not a monster. You don't have to pay for it. But it would be more attracting. I would be more attracted to you if you paid for it on the first day because you asked me out. I didn't ask. I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't want to be here. But what if this was a you mutual know? agreement? Not want to be here. Let me not say that. What if this was a mutual agreement? You guys have a couple of days getting to know each other, and you guys just both agree. Like nobody in particularly did it first. It's just like it's just an, a kind of like an agreement. Like it just happened. Like oh, like I don't know. Like. I don't know exactly the scenario I would say, but it was just an agreement and you guys just both decided to go out. Or not even that. Like, if, if you guys both decided to go out, then I will 100%. Like, if this is, like, the second, the second, third date and we both, like, oh, you want, let's go out or something, I will 100% take the bill. Because mm-hmm. at that point, I'm interested in you. If I'm going on a second date, I'm interested in you and I will pay 100%. I never have an issue with paying. But the first day, if you're asking me to go out, yes, you should, like... If I'm asking you to go out, then yes, I'm going to pay. I asked you to go out. You know what I mean? I even, I'm not going to go into details, but yeah. Yeah, I think, but back to what I was saying, sometimes I say it's like the third date and the guy does do the bathroom move. The I'm going to go to the bathroom right when the tab comes. Sometimes that could be a test from a guy and guys comment down below if sometimes you guys do do this because right. this is, I'm a girl, so I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but me being a guy, I would say sometimes I would like to test somebody to see what how they're moving and what they're doing to see if they're just gonna let that bill just sit there up until the guy comes back, right? To see what the girl's about because there's really girls that there's there's girls that will go out with zero dollars expecting for somebody to pay for them, and I think that's I, I don't I don't agree with that. What about that one post that we read about the man first day paying for the whole fit, baby girl? Yes. No. Yeah, so some girl yeah, pre- pretty it. much said, some girl pretty much said that that the guy should ex- like she expects the guy to pay to not only pay for the whole date but to pay for her outfit too. Is that your father or are you trying to <laughs> date him? Because you're not. That's not your dad. He shouldn't have to buy you. But down the fit. line, you could be my daddy if you want to pay for my fit, but not first date. Right. I feel like like once the, you're in a relationship and your guy just lays out a whole outfit for you. This is a turn on, by the way. Lays out a whole outfit for you and says, "Be ready with a little note." Handwritten will be even better. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then there's kindergarten. It's, it's chicken scratch. It's kindergarten ass words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kindergarten. We took a little break, but we're back. Yeah, we had to do some fixes. My little chair was breaking. Um. Wow, I'm so comfortable now. I'm at your level. I know. Now, like all the way up here. Um. So yeah, well, we were talking about what dates. Sure, a little bit. We were talking about dates and somebody going to the bathroom and a man testing you, right? That's yeah, what you were yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what we said. So so I believe that men can test women and just ex- just see just see how she's going to move. Like, I would love to know um, a guy's opinion and perspective on, some, on, a, on a... Wow, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> on a scenario like that, I would love to know what a guy has to say or if a guy has ever done that. So please comment down below and let me know if you are a male. If you have tested a woman before and what was the results? Good and yeah. bad. Ooh, exciting. I would definitely love to have a man on here explaining these I mean um 
telling their story. So if you want to be part of the podcast, it's Niggas Uncensored, just send us a quick little DM because we would love to have guests. Yes, that would be amazing. We just started. Look at us first episode. Let's this give is good. I like this. Uh, okay, so I have a question uh-huh. for you. How soon, now that we're talking about relationships and stuff, how soon should you start dating after a breakup? Let's say a long breakup. So you were with somebody for four years, let's say. And you so happen to just, you know, you're single. Mm -hmm. And you're fresh single. You're used to having a partner. How soon do you think, would you feel like it's appropriate to start dating again? I don't know. I think it depends on the situation. Honestly. Um... Because if it's something that where it's just like the relationship just died out, then I feel like, you know, you yeah, should spread your like wings as, as soon as you want. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If it was just like a, an agreement where both parties are just happy with the fact that things are over. But if there's one person still like hurting about mm-hmm. it, like, yes, you should take some time and, and, and wait. I feel like you should wait till the time is right. And that can be two months that can be three months i would say a month is way too early yes but yeah that's what that's just my opinion what do you think i think that sometimes in a girl perspective because i'm obviously a girl so i can't speak for men sometimes girls be emotionally disconnected while being in a relationship for a very very long time right so if that was to happen or if they're not getting certain treatment for a long time it's just about having courage to just let that thing go. You know what right. I'm saying? But sometimes it just it, sometimes it just happens like that. Sometimes you just can just go to a whole other person and just feel like wow, there's light under the tunnel. Type right. Shit. Right. But that's that's in that scenario. But then then there's other scenarios that you know you are still in a relationship, and so this kind of has nothing to do with the question. But you are still in a relationship and you know shit happens where you're just getting entertained you're just entertaining because the relationship is just not there right at the moment i just feel like sometimes that makes a a relationship stronger when shit just goes left in a relationship and you get bagged and the whole nine i feel like it can make a relationship stronger sometimes because then you think back like what the hell am i doing like what even though it's pure entertainment it's literally pure entertainment it's like you don't give a fuck about the person truly but it's just like a, a a a moment for you to take some time to think like what the fuck am I doing like this person is never gonna do what this other person did for you and then for the other person it's like yo I gotta step my game up because there's no way your girlfriend or your boyfriend should be seeking elsewhere right like you have that to re- kind of reevaluate message. that tells a big message yeah you kind of have to reevaluate yourself so both from both parties it needs a lot of reevaluation right. a lot of spicing up a lot of you know, changing because, you know, every day we're growing, we're getting older. We like different things every single day. We're not going to stay the same Person. as, you know what I'm saying? As when, you know, when you first meet somebody, you change. You see new things. You you experience new things. You adult. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that's actually. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I was just chatting. No, that know. was really good. It's true. Um, if you're if somebody's seeking out to somebody else so that there's an issue in that relationship and you need to digest it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also feel like once you decide to get to to work things out with somebody, like in both parties, obviously for one you can't go seek out again, and then for two, you can't be on the person saying you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this for the rest of your life. Like if you decide, if once both parties take the step to move forward after something like that, it has to be let the fuck go. It has to be dropped. It never existed. It died. Like. That's something that you have to do, and that's something that's difficult. This is why you need time. If you need time, take you gotta the take time. the time, because then it's just gonna spiral the relationship left again. Yep. Because you're just constantly getting accused of shit twenty four seven when you you're not even doing nothing. You're just fucking home watching TV. Literally, literally, this is <laughs> this is real life shit, mm-hmm. real life shit, relationship shit that happens all the fucking time. And man, if that person's well, I just spit. Thank God this is my mic. It has my <laughs> name under it. Um, if that person's for you, then 
some way somehow god is gonna continue have um letting you have that person in your life mm-hmm. for a fact Trials because i feel like guys. things happen and if you truly love that person and you guys are both willing to move forward from situations and really work towards the relationship i think you know then that's what god wants but right. if it's still no things are rocky in you do. in trying to work things out and like it just doesn't then you know maybe take some step back and reevaluate if what that you really person's want. for you mm-hmm. god will still bring that back that person two years later who knows yeah, whether you, you know like it I mean? or not you're gonna be with the person god wants you to be with literally so. you can fight it and fight it and fight it and fight it and you're gonna be with the person that you're supposed to be with even if you don't want to so it could be 10 years from now it could be 10 years from now it could be a whole divorce literally and this person and you will find a way back because that's just the plan that's just part of your journey and god's plan i just said that <laughs> wow, no, getting, this is really good. I'm getting thing. really deep, guys. I'm, episode yeah, one is going is, good. Yeah, episode this is really is deep shit right good. now, and like, it's just like I can keep talking more about it, mm-hmm. but you know, we're gonna save the juiciness for episode two because I can get it really into relationships. Yeah, we're gonna go more in depth because we're talking like know? scattered right now with a little bit of everything, but Literally. we're gonna go more in depth with topics. Literally, in general, um, like what? What do you think your love language is? Okay, so let me pull up love languages because I never, like, memorize them. So, love languages. So, I think, I feel like my love language has changed throughout, of course, as I've gotten older. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Where are they? Sorry, guys. I'm just pulling it up on YouTube. Not I don't know what my love language is. Like, I feel like it changed throughout the years, too. I feel like we have to take the test. I really thought it was a certain something, but it's really not anymore. I am just... What I really look for in a partner now is So, I'll read you the five, and then you can choose from there. Okay. So, words of affirmations, gifts, acts of service, quality time, and physical touch. I don't I don't know maybe physical touch is a big one for me like I don't know anymore I think physical touch is very important and quality time and and everything on that list I want everything I want it all everything is very important I a want a little bit of, of everything them. yeah but I think this is what I love in a particular so maybe you can like detect which one it is so I really like somebody this is like highly important to me because I have a really great relationship with my father and I really tend to look for people who are like him and are going to take care of me. You know what I mean? Not take care of me in the sense of like paying my bills, but like emotionally and be there for me. That like, that's very important to me because you know, like who else is going to do it? Um, so I look for someone who's just there for me emotionally, like very supportive and everything. Like, you know, like the time of the month, it's very, Ooh, that's that time of the month is very emotional. Yeah. We're going to have just a time of the month for podcast. PMS, right? That's Jesus. the right word. PMS. Yep. Um, oh, your menstrual cycle. Um, that time, like you can either, it can either be for my, I'm talking about for my women who go through it. Like I know some people don't go through none of it, so you probably can't relate. But like mm-hmm. we get so emotional. Like I feel like so every sad. girl, I swear every girl gets moody at least. Yeah. If they don't get the bad cramps, they at least get moody. Like I'm so sorry. There's no girl that's not telling me they'd be like, oh no, I don't get nothing. I just get it and that's it. No. Right, right. You know, you just get all these like the, your your hormone levels are just all crazy and. You know, me, I cry a lot, like, and I'm just crying. Like, I don't even know why I'm crying. I'm just crying. Because a chicken crossed the road. Like, anything, literally anything. And, you know, I just want to be, like, loved. I just want to be, I want that person to take care of me. I want to feel like, you know, I'm their baby and their prize and their diamond. Like, that's what I want to feel like. I just want that support. I want my favorite ice cream. I want my favorite chips, you know? Food food in a show in a movie is like really what we well what i want in love that's all i want and be nice to me <laughs> is that too much no what i, I want the same so thing so what would that fall under like somebody just being i feel caring. like that sounds like acts of service and words of affirmations which yeah. is why I, I was gonna say that I was going to say words of affirmation because there's nothing like can be complimented and, and yeah. you know, being that that gives security to a person for sure. 
I mean, it doesn't have to be 24-7 because when it's 24-7, it's like, all right, you're, you're teen. But acts of service for me is, that's I think that's my top one. Physical yeah. touch, I really don't give a shit about, honestly. I don't, I, I, I don't need somebody touching me every single second of the day. I don't give a shit about physical touch. You know, a, a good balance of it is cool to me. Um, because I've been in a relationship with long distance for a long time, I also don't care about quality time. Like, when it's that time, then obviously... I feel like when it's when, when it's time for quality time for a person that has been in a long distance, then nothing else should come in between that. Like, you shouldn't have other plans when it's that time. Right. Like, there's nothing. Just right. that quality 100%. time. Now, I'm about to go play, or I'm about to go do, or I'm about to go... Do. When it's Once it's that quality time, nothing else should be in the way. Unless you had prior plans, of course. Right. And then gifts. Gifts, I feel like... Gifts are also important to us. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, because it's just the way that we grew up. So that's why it's, like, important to us. But it's not... It, it, that's not to say... But it's not... Yeah. That's not to say that you have to buy Gucci, Fendi, Louis Prada. Right. 24-7. That's, that's like, about. yo, I was at Walmart and I thought of you and I know you love these Skittles. Oh, my that's, God. You know, that's that's the type of gifts. Obviously, like, you... You for birthdays and stuff, you give special gifts and stuff, but it's just the little random ones. It's nothing like the little random random ones. Cause yes. obviously for birthdays and holidays, you're kind of expecting a gift, so you kind of know what's coming. But when it's like so random that it's like, oh my god, look, I got you, the, um, I got you these running sneakers that I know you said you needed a pair or something. Oh my god, like, like that little is stuff just like that. Amazing. Or like what I said earlier, like I know you were hungry, so I sent um, I sent you food. It's gonna be downstairs in thirty minutes. Yeah, stuff like that. That's amazing. Yeah. So it's important, but I. I think acts of service, like, is is OD fire. So, yeah, I think, yeah, you're right. Acts of service, words of affirmation, gifts is definitely in there. Like, small gifts, mm-hmm. like, just surprising me Not is every very second. important to me. And another reason why, because I don't like to ask for anything. I don't like to ask. Me either. I'm so freaking prideful. I'm I not asking. Ask. The most I'll do is be like, oh, my God, I think I'm thinking of, this is my way of hinting. I, I'm thinking of. Uh, Wow, I talk crazy. I'm thinking of getting these sneakers or, oh, I love these shoes that, that I just seen. That's my way of asking. That's the most, absolute most that I'll do. And and I'm not even saying it to be like, oh, let me just see these and you get them for me. Like, no. I'm going to just say that I want it. And if you paid attention and you get them for me, then wow, brownie points for you. I will, uh, yeah, I will never I'm not asking ask nobody for either. I'm just not. The most I'll ask for is like, yo, you're already out on the streets. Bring me McDonald's or something. That's right. that's it. Shit like that. And I'll be petty and send the money to see what you're about. You see, I'm not doing that now. Yeah. I'm not sending you the money. Yeah. Or if not, I'll be like, how much was it? To see what you're going to say. Like, you know, if, it, if somebody be like, oh, it was, um. Uh, three fifty nine. I'll be like, yo, you're really about to tell me it was three fifty nine instead of being like, are you serious? Don't disrespect me. That's what I want to hear. Yes, <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, um, and quality time. I think, just like Abby said, um, the whole distance thing. Same thing. Um, I don't like. I don't like fiend for like quality time, but like. I think that has a big effect on sometimes on your day to day because sometimes it's just like, you know, sometimes you miss that person and you would you have love to be to fit just, for a long distance relationship. Yeah, that's yeah. not for everybody. Like that's definitely not for everybody. But that's definitely another topic that we'll get into right. in the near future. What is it? What it's like to date, um, long distance? Yeah, that's gonna be a long one because we have so much to say on that because we both, you know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and we're talking Woo! too much. Whoa, that's it. Cut. Um, how long would you date after a breakup? Did you say that? No, already? I didn't. Jesus. Wow. Wow. We went so deep, and we did. I didn't even say that part. I think. How long does it take? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, after after okay, so after like a relationship that's not that wasn't too too long, then. Man, if you find somebody else, then you find somebody else, then whatever. But after a long one, it's gonna be it's re- it's gonna be super hard. You're gonna find yourself just being like, no, 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 no. I rather just go back or something. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like you definitely just need to take time. Time will tell. Time Things will tell are, it all. Um, we can go so deep in relationships. I have so much to say about relationships and just like you know, knowing who that person is and. You know, I always tell myself I'm like a modern hippie. I just be like happy and I just love to love. And 
I just like being in a good mood, you know? I like being adventurous in a relationship. Don't be boring. Don't keep doing the same thing going to dinner dates and shit. Like, that shit gets boring, you know what I mean? You need to give that spiciness. Yeah. Forced dates are just even more like, oof. Oh, hell no. Just, I'd rather, I'd rather stay in my own home. Like, I should not ask someone to take me out. That's annoying, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but Those wow. dates definitely are not it. We know, have so much know. more to talk about, about relationships. Yeah, like, I just feel like every single thing I think about to say, I want to hold back because it could just be another whole other topic Literally. on relationships because there's so much to say about that. Yeah. But this, this first episode is going good. Like, I, I love know, the flow of the things. Flow I think we're doing very good. Well. This is like, I was a little nervous at first because it's just like, how are we just going to just transition? Like, I know I've watched so many podcasts. I'm so big on podca- podcasts. It's like, I rather listen to a podcast and listen to music sometimes. Like, when I'm doing something, like, it just, I just learned so much things from it. So I'm just like, wow, they transition so well. How the hell are we going to freaking do that? And I think we're doing yes. good. I don't think we're doing that bad of a job. See, it just took us like two seconds to get a little comfortable, and we get comfortable fast. I'm, you know, I'm still a little nervous. I don't know how we're gonna really like look and sound. If you guys are gonna be interested into in in, in this podcast, know you know, it makes me like nervous. Podcast. But I hope you guys do because we're really nice people, and we have a lot to say. You know, we just talk all the time. We're really great at talking. And like we said, this is just a a podcast where we're just expressing our own opinions. This is nothing that this is not what information we read or like this is just all from our thoughts. Um, I think you might not be able to you might not be you might not agree. And if you don't, we would love to have like you guys comment on certain things, Mm -hmm. you know, give us topics or come in, come in. If you guys if you guys don't agree with some of the things we're saying, then. I would love to have a little debate as to why. Yeah, why that'd be great. Why do we feel and why, you know. And guys, something I do have to say before I forget because it came to mind. We're not always, we're not always going to be like going to be on camera filming because if you guys don't know the people that are listening only, we are filming this on our YouTube as well. Yeah. Sometimes we're just, honestly, truly, we just be having lazy days. So you guys, we will be posted on you. It will be posted on YouTube stuff, but just the audio. So right. I just had to say that before I forgot because, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes we just got a time of the month and nobody's trying to look cute. Nobody's trying to put makeup yeah, on. Yeah, me just, on my, the time of the month. That's, that's, that's a like wrap. A day off. That's like a day off. It should be legally, like Abby said, that mm-hmm. should be a legal day for women. Two to, days. I legal day women. off for women. Yeah. And for the First women that don't get period. bad cramps, mind your fucking business. I have to say fucking too. Mind your business. If you don't get bad cramps, because there, I have had scenarios where I work at a certain job, and the women that are up above, up above me, for example, like there was this white girl once. I don't want to mean to say just white girl, but you know what I'm saying. There was this girl once that she just didn't. She just didn't get bad cramps, and she was just like, "Oh, every girl." When she hit me with the "every girl gets that," oh, oh yeah, no. No. That was an issue. So if you don't agree and if you don't get bad cramps, then just be quiet, be silent, feel for us other women. You still gotta go through um, child pain too. So it's kind of like think about child pain because that's kind of like we should cramps like, but little. Save this, save yeah. this yeah, conversation because yeah, yeah. we have a lot to say about. Yeah, and we gotta conclude know? this pretty soon because we're about to hit our mark. Yeah, this in is a it though. Minutes. I think this is good. We this is a great first episode, and I really hope you guys, you know, we hope you guys enjoyed this tune first in. episode and really and tune into the next one. Yes. Oh my god! And um, if you guys have any confessions or any advice that you guys need, please be sure to DM us. If you DM us, we will keep your name nice and private. We won't say any of your business. Well, we'll say your business, but we just won't say who it's yeah, about and we can give from. you guys some advice on air or if you guys can share a funny story or the most embarrassing story we would love to share so that everybody else can listen so just dm us on it's amigas or our personal um instagrams Insta- you will link all of this down below and if you're just tuning in my instagram is abby diaza a b b y d e a z a and mine is L E Leo Mary T. Yuck, full name. L E O M A R Y T. That's and then, my Insta. Oh, sorry. And then the Isamigas one is I S S A M I G A S. 
I was going to say TV. <laughs> oh, and also, now that we're at it, yeah. we have a TikTok. We have TikTok, a TikTok. TikTok it's it's Amigas as well. We also have a YouTube channel. It's, it's Amigas again. And we have another YouTube channel called it's, it's, Amigas. it's Amigas TV. So we will go more in depth of what those channels are about in a different episode. But just make sure you follow us on all of our social platforms. Because yes. Because we do a lot of everything. Oh, we also have personal YouTube. But you can find that once you search us on Instagram and stuff. Yes, guys, we're so excited. I'm so happy. Me like, too. we've been so, we've been in, uh, we've been slacking on yeah. doing this for a long time, and we finally did it, and I'm happy. It, It's hot in my room right now. We're doing this right from my room. It's super hot, but we finally got it going, and nothing comes easy. Everything's a struggle, so I'm just happy we finally started. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys on episode two. Peace and Bye. I'm out. Mic drop. This is me dropping the bike. <laughs> All right, bye guys.